Okay, we're going to take a look at that power lunge. Now, here is the situation. We've got our player in front who's going to play a cross-court drop. And it leaves it open. Now, I'm relatively far in the back of the court thinking that he was going to log cross-court. And um, well, I was too lazy to get up the front. It's probably more the real, real story. But um, never mind. Okay, so from here, I've realized that it's gone short. And it's going to go a fair way away from me. I need to take advantage of this fact that he's very far at the front of the court. So from here, we've gone at the back of the service box. And I'll put that circle on as a first step. And then it's a lunge and a swing as you lunge. And we drive the ball down the wall. And it's not a winner, but it's a reasonable shot. Could have been a winner if I just hit it that little bit better. And we'll go through it. And we'll just talk about each of the main considerations to think about or the main things that make all the difference. Okay. So the first thing we want to push off our outside. So your outside foot is your right foot in this case. And so what happens is I want to go that way, up that way. So I'm going to push off this outside foot. I'm going to push this way. I need to get all my weight onto this foot here. And so then I can transfer and drive off that leg, which is going to have stored power. So as we watch that from here, we go and push it across. Okay, and now, so there's a half a leap there, and in other words, I'll just go back three clicks. Okay, so you'll notice that I've also taken off and I've jumped in the air a little bit too. So my right foot's still on the floor, still on the floor, still on the floor, and now it's just about off the floor, and that hasn't landed yet. Just landed now, so it's almost like a complete transfer of weight on the maximum step that you can have with full balance and control. So it's a large initial step that we're looking for. Large initial step that we're looking for. So we want to make sure that this initial step here is very large. So what that means is you can have, on, you can have a, um, if, you, if you step back here, it'll actually affect how far you can actually make it up the court, obviously. So as far as you can lunge, as long as you can get over your front leg, so you can power drive off your front leg. Okay, so that makes a critical component of the ability for the next stage and that is for you to then move forward and leap just inside of the line of the ball okay so this is an interesting point here right now i'm about to leave the ground virtually this foot here this foot here is only just touching the floor hasn't landed yet on the front foot Everything is there, racket preparation is there, body's back as far as I can, as long as I can maintain balance. So I haven't got over body prep. I'm going to have to rely on a lot of arms. You can, and this foot's going to come from back here. It will move forward as we go. So if we watch, the back foot will come forward. And you start your swing as you land. So my swing now, I'm only just landing now, and my swing's on the go already. So the foot's still not down. Now the foot's down and the swing's well into the flat, into the swing. So you've got to make sure that you've got your swing well on the go by the time that you actually landed your foot. So you need to have your body working for you as you lunge. Back foot has come in. Now this is uh, this is a most important component, and I'll expand. I'll spend a little time just for a second to explain this one. Uh, you must have an angled front leg. You can't go over your knee. If you go over your knee, you will then go forward towards the side wall. So you need to have that angled leg there. If you can lunge and you'll stop at that angled leg, then every stop at that angled leg, then everything will be fine. If not, what it does is it. If you go over that leg, so if you went over this point here, you'd then go that way with your body. So your body would have nothing to stop it going forward. So that front leg is the one that needs to have that angle that is critical, critical, critical that you leap. Now remember, I leapt, uh, I'll go back a little bit. I leapt from back here, and you'll notice that this is where I've all put a um, circle where I um, started from. All right, so what happens is I've now got that circle there, and you'll see how far I leap forward so that's in midair, that's a land there. So I've already gone forward a reasonable distance just in the transition from one foot to another foot. So, okay, so the transition there, while well, I'm still on full lunge and my front leg is still 
angled back so it's still got that um, not 45 degrees but a good angle to actually stop my body moving forward everything is in line is the next thing that you need to know so that means that everything in here is in line from where my back foot started virtually what that's done is it's actually allowed me to control the front leg so I'm going against the direct angle of the front leg so my knee won't have any problems trying to stop me it won't be splayed out is what I'm telling you so my knee hasn't gone out that way out there and then trying to stop me moving in this direction here so um, my knees in the spine trying to stop my body so that works really 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 well all right so then we need to keep your back foot with a light touch to the floor and what that does is it allows you to main back, maintain balance so this is the back foot is really really lightly on the floor as I strike and you'll notice it moves up towards the front wall so I can get beside the ball and drive the ball down the wall so I'm not turning my body too much and my back foot comes around so the finish you bring your back foot into balance is the next one and you need to come off the ball as soon as you've hit so there's a lot happening just at the point of striking the ball so the back foot will come in which will maintain balance which will take all the stress off your lunge off your front leg because then you'll just merely have an even balanced stance you lift up so we'll go through those again and we'll just show you what happens so if we go back i'll go back to here even further okay so we watch so we watch we'll watch the coming off the ball so as soon as we strike let's see we strike just moving a stable body there just as we strike and then we up 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 as soon as you strike the ball okay let's watch the back foot the back foot will come around and around and around and then it will come in 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 and it's almost a stage that you're doing everything off one leg with full balance and then it just repositions back so it's almost like i made a circle with my back leg but it's all the balance is on the front leg now there is no stress on your body when you do this it's a funny thing to say but there's no stress on your body and that's because your center point of balance is very much right through here through the center of this line here and so when you bring that back leg in it allows you to maintain your balance through the ball and you can get real power and real um, foundations power through the ball which is just amazing it really is really is quite amazing the way it works so you need to bring your back foot in and that fixes up your the amount of effort you're using on your front leg it'll allow you to come off the ball without having to push back off your front leg to lunge i've nearly just pushed my this is the other thing that happens i push my leg back that way a little bit when i come off the ball and that's giving me a momentum my momentum sorry to come off the ball so if we have a look at that again we watch the back leg so I'll watch this back leg comes in around and then it will push back and that back leg i'm just merely straightening my leg now my front leg and i'll come up off the ball really easy and that's full balance right there it's full balance already and um, it's not a big lunge push back it's just really really quite amazing how, just how much it works and then after that you need to split and ready for the next shot so i'm now hopefully a little bit late on it but um there's the movement to come back out of the ball because i realized the ball went up and um, then you can split and take off for that next shot all right so it's pretty pretty dynamic the way it all works you just need to make sure that you, you initially push off your outside foot you're just inside the line of the ball you start your swing as you land you land with an angled front leg that is the one that really makes all the difference keep that angle back you must have your toes you must not let your knees go over your toes is the best way i can put it so your knees must be behind your toes that'll allow you to use your skeleton to stop as long as you keep everything in line you'll be safe and there'll be no trouble for actually hurting anything your back foot has light touch on the floor as it moves inside the line of the ball and then you'll bring your back foot back out you'll come off the ball as soon as you've hit and you'll bring your back foot in for balance as part of your swing then you get back into a position split ready for your next shot and off you go it all seems like it's really really difficult but it's not that hard it really really does become something that um, is very attainable for most people once you um, just practice a little bit and you practice by setting up the tough shots so there's a few other things that can happen that you can do um, which these these 
um, which is these these two shots here that I'm going to show you are not as dramatic, but they're still pretty solid. Okay, so I'm back behind the box, service box, way too far back again. I'm just going to have to move up so I don't have to do these sort of movements. Okay, so we've got one initial drive step from here, and it's a lunge and a cross court. So once again, see how far my back foot came across just to go and maintain the balance. Yep. So that's all about balance and taking stress off your body and taking stress off your front leg. The outcome is pretty reasonable in that he's on full stretch. I just couldn't get it past him because I was under stress in the first place. So it's, it's a pretty reasonable sort of shot. Then we have the shot here. This is what happens when you get time. If you've got time, you can put in this little hop. And we've spoken about that on a previous video. So here is the big... It's not that big a step, but it, a bigger step, but it, I've gone with a shorter step. Gone in, and you can hold your shot and play a nice little drop shot once again. That back foot moves around. So it's pretty much playing a shot off one leg quite um, capable. It's a really good thing to do. That so works really well. All right, so if you watch this over and over again, what you'll see is you'll see a flowing movement. You'll see that it's not a lot of stress. You'll see it's quite amazing just how much it actually um, is capable for your body to do. And it's that leap in there. It's like a floating leap. So you don't aggressively leap. You float and land. So it's all about the landing. So it's a controlled landing and a balanced back foot that'll make all the difference to your shot. There you go. Hope this helps.